Today I'm going to talk about how to reduce some of your costs when doing resin art. So I've been doing resin art now for about two years and I found a few tips and tricks that might help you if you're starting out on your resin journey on how to reduce some of your costs. So go through a bit of a list and we'll start off with the most expensive. So the thing that's going to cost you the most is resin and unfortunately to find the best value resin you do have to just essentially purchase and experiment. Now I tried just resin and uh, it's a really good resin but for me who lives all the way down the bottom of the world in New Zealand the shipping cost just negates any savings that are getting there. So I was able to find a local supplier who manufactures resin here in New Zealand and they produce both art resin and casting resin as well as resin for finishing surfaces and for me that was a lot cheaper option than having to bring in resin from overseas but wherever you are in the world it might be easier if you're purchasing off Amazon for example and you'll be able to get a pretty good deal or even as I said just resin which have uh, dispatch areas from uh, in America, Canada I believe uh, as well as in Europe that may be the better option for you. So I've tried some cheaper resin uh, for example I bought some resin from Timu and uh, I've actually got another batch which has come in which I'm just trying out however when you work it out with the wait times and the shipping then it's actually a lot better for me to purchase from a New Zealand supplier but for you that might be different the next area is mold so you have molds like this one here and this one here comes from Temu it's a like a little jar that you can put jewelry in and all sorts of knickknacks and it's essentially if you go to Temu it's a good price you have to wait a couple of weeks if you go to Amazon for example it's actually the same product like it's made in China someone's purchased it in China in bulk block ordered it across to uh, your Amazon stores and it's sold out of there so I've got molds before from Amazon and from Temu and they're essentially the same um, but the Temu one uh, normally works out to be a lot cheaper the quality is pretty good I've used a number of the different molds and got multiple multiple uses out of them and so that's one way to reduce your cost is just looking around at different molds so one of the things if you're buying these silicon molds a lot of people talk about getting mold release a mold release is pretty expensive as well they think it's a bit of a rip-off and trying to get you to purchase something which is essentially just uh, you know, a silicon spray or similar uh, you can actually use something like armor oil here to spray onto a cloth and give that a wipe around inside your mold and that will act as a mold release um, so you can find cheaper alternatives than you know what they're trying to sell you the other thing when you're looking at molds you can use things like this so this is a cookie mold it's a Halloween cookie mold that I got for about six dollars from a local you know two dollar shop dollar store type place and this is pretty cool so it's a Halloween themed cookie mold but it's silicon so that means you can use it to pour resin and I've done just that so just grab an example so here are a couple of uh, things I've made using this cookie uh, cookie mold silicon mold so one place to look is in your dollar shop or um, Target Walmart etc looking in the cooking aisle because they have silica molds which are perfect for not only cookies but also making some resin crafts especially Halloween like this one came out pretty cool the next area to save some money is looking at the art boards that you put resin onto so if you're doing wall art then you have some sort of board that you cover in resin to create your artworks and I use MDF so these MDF boards and I've got a router so I managed to use that router to cut these circles so I buy a rectangle board of MDF and then manage to normally get two of these out of there um, that MDF board costs me about uh, $15 if I'm going to buy these from the art store then you're looking at about $25 $30 for one of these boards whereas I can buy one big board and make two of these so that's another way to save some money 
All right, the next money saving area is what's normally classed as inclusion. So, you know, what are the things you put in your resin? And if you're looking around, you can find a whole lot of stuff for free. So the other week we went to the beach and, you know, I took the little bucket and spade here and got a whole lot of sand. So sand's great if you're doing any ocean waves or, um, or beach resin art. So, you know, free resource, grab that from the beach. I also went and picked up a whole lot of shells and you can use those shells then in your resin art. Uh, even things such as if you're at your hardware store or even just if you've got it in your own garden, you might have some like little rocks and things like that that you can use in your resin art. So it's about looking around and seeing what's out there. Same thing with flowers, you can go and pick flowers, put them in some silica to absorb the water and dry them out. There's lots of videos on how to dry flowers. Um, and those are that's a free resource if you're going out and using your own garden and picking them. You can always steal the neighbours as well if they don't see you. Um, but yeah, free resources. Uh, the other thing is obviously, once again, it really depends on what you think of it. But you know, Temu is a good cheap resource to get a whole lot of different things for uh, using in your resin art crafts. Um, just look by latest Temu order here. Uh, and I know it's a bit sounds scammy myself, but I do have some affiliate links to Temu. Don't much, you know, 10 steps you probably could use it, but hey, those links are there if you are uh, interested. I'll well, just pick this up. Can't see where the camera's uh, see, but I got a number of things to put in my written art. So film here. Uh, we've got some glow in the dark spider web, and so I'm going to be using that to inside some artworks for Halloween. Uh, this is what I was looking for. So we've got some Halloween kind of splatter or inclusions here, and you know this was like a dollar or something that's going to do a number of different artworks for that Halloween theme. So there's bats and witches and pumpkins, ghosts, um, for about a dollar. So that's not too bad. I'm sure you can find the same thing on Amazon, but it might be a bit more expensive. If I was to buy this here in New Zealand, I'd probably be paying about $10. So it is about looking around to try to find where you can get these different things uh, and thinking a bit outside the box about what you can use to put into different um, artworks. So, for example, you know, you can go on the dark spider web, which is just decoration you put outside your house for Halloween, and then use some of that to go on the artwork, and that should look really cool. Like, for example, this other thing, uh, you've got these little glow in the, there's a hundred glow in the dark for about three dollars. Glow in the dark ducks, and uh, they're pretty cute little duckies. Um, that's going to be something I'm going to put in some artwork and I think that'll look pretty cool. Ducks. And it's 99 in the packet now. The one thing you can't skimp on is protective gear and I normally say safety first as my sort of mantra and when I'm doing resin art then I've always got gloves on, I've always got a respirator mask. Now I normally should try to put and cover my arms but I'm a bit slack at doing that. Uh, I'm normally pretty good and don't get resin on myself on my arms or anything but uh, definitely goggles with and definitely a really good respirator. So this is a 3M respirator. You can get these from Amazon. Um, or you know your local hardware store um, pretty easy to get pick up and don't forget to change the filters every sort of three months or so that's quite key uh, now the one area that you can save some money on safety is around gloves so these are nitrate gloves um, they are useful for obviously resin you don't want to get the silicon gloves because that is not as protective as my understanding so 
this is definitely the, the nitrate ones are the ones to get and I get these ones from Temu in bulk right here and that saves me quite a lot of money from if I was to purchase these locally and be paying three or four times as much so um, they work really really well black nitrate gloves uh, black's also good if you're doing any UV resin so with the UV resin you're using UV light the black gloves prevent any of that UV light going through uh, whereas I believe the blue ones that you can get means that some of the light can pass through so black's quite good to block that out so you know have a, have a look at those that's a good cheap alternative when it comes to safety obviously the mask and the goggles is something that um, you can't really skimp on the price is the price the question of cost comes up all the time when people are looking at resin art and yes it can be quite expensive but like anything you can buy the Rolls Royce version or you can buy the Toyota and they both do the same job it's just a little bit of variation on how they get there I like to get the best bang for buck the buck for bang bang for buck one of them the best value anyway and that just means shopping around and finding what works really well and gives me the result I want for the cheapest price. Some of that can be free like finding sand on the beach, some of it can be a lot cheaper like using a kitty litter tray as a mold to use to make a um, chopping board for example. You know there's lots of alternatives rather than spending the big bucks to get an outcome that you want. I hope you found this video helpful in looking at ways in which you can reduce the cost of your resin hobby or even if you're using it as a resin business. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber already I'd love for you to come and join my community so hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can see more videos like this when I publish them. Until next time keep creating!